Hello, 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 all of our Motor City Solutions Facebook followers. Gwen Stacy here, live at the Motor City Solutions Hot Rod Shop in Metro Detroit, Michigan. It is March 22nd, 2019, and we are on our weekly Facebook Live. Thank you so much for tuning in, you guys. Um, if you have not seen a Facebook Live before, we do one every week. Uh, at Friday at 3 o'clock and last week's we had about 6,000 reach so our reach is different than our views we had about 2,700 views so close to 3,000 views but a reach of 6,000 people and it does spread all throughout the world actually um, China Russia we had some people view from the Philippines France uh, so all over the place. So thank you so much for tuning in, everybody from all over. Comment below, let us know where you guys are watching from. It's always exciting to hear and know where our viewers are watching from. Um, we are going to take a lap around the hot rod shop here, check in with the guys, see what they are working on. We have definitely more than a few cool projects in house. Um, we actually have 67 open jobs. That means 60 seven classic cars that Motor City Solutions is working on right now. Um, all 67 may not be in the hot rod shop today. We do have another building that we use for storage. So, um, but all the customers, or all the cars that you will see here are customer cars. So that's a question that gets asked a lot. They are all customer cars, projects that we are working on. And um, yeah, we have 28,000 square feet here in this building and um, we are excited to show you so thank you so much for tuning in I'm trying to read the comments from where I'm at Manchester England what's up England what's up Kentucky Woohoo! I'm straight out of Facebook live in Michigan Ooh, I got Michigan hearing thank you so much for tuning in you guys if you haven't yet um, be sure to like the Motor City Solutions Facebook page and then if you are interested in getting weekly live broadcasts Whenever we go live, click the alert bell on the bottom right hand side of this video. And then be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, something kind of cool coming up on the live feed, we are going to do, hi Dave, thank you, I'm glad that you made it. Um, we are going to do a, we just got a full restoration um, approved in house. It is a 67 GTO. And the gentleman, Mike, shout out to Mike, um, he approved all the paint and body work and all the mechanical work. So it is indeed going to be 100% full restoration on this GTO. And they are starting on that today. So we will, um, if you guys are interested in seeing the project the whole way through, definitely tune in every Friday to check on updates. And then check out our YouTube to see the in-between. Um, real quick, I do have to give a shout out to Karen, aka DJ Betty, for making me this fantastic shirt. Rebel Art. YouTube it, Facebook it, love it. Hey, Rusty. Say hi to the live feed. <laughs> okay, you guys. So, it's live, it's raw. Shout out to Rebel. Thank you so much for making this shirt. It's fantastic. I appreciate it, Karen. Hi, Nick. Thank you, Canada. I know that's where you're at. Um, but we're going to switch it around, take a little tour around the shop. If you guys have any questions, comments, um, don't be shy. Comment below and let us know where you are viewing from because that's always fun to know. Thanks for tuning in, guys. So, let's see what we got here. Ooh. Okay, we're going in. Mm -mm -mm. I get the lighting difference. <laughs> so, if you guys have not seen a live feed before, I normally will start right in that little area I just did. This is our front showroom. 71 Monte Carlo, 29 Model A. This is actually a specialty car, 2013 Panther Corvette. And of course our 33 Speed. And also, I did get my weekly cruise news newsletter yesterday. Let's see. If you guys are not familiar with the Cruise News, but you are into classic cars, definitely um, subscribe to the Cruise News Magazine, and you can also subscribe to the online weekly 
um, weekly weekly newsletter. That's the word I'm looking for. So this week they said, I'm trying to locate, let's read real quick. I'm trying to locate my parents' old 69 Super B that was sold in 1992 to Ken in Warren, Michigan. I'm trying to find the car and buy it for my parents for an anniversary present. We can't find the VIN number anywhere, but I do know Ken lived in Warren in 92 and often attended the Kiwanis, 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 Harper Charity Cruise. Any info would help. Please call or email at 734-771-7066 or email Mopar469 at yahoo.com. Okay. So there's that. I think that's kind of cool. He's looking to find the uh, car for his parents. And then upcoming events, March 22nd, or March 24th, Freeman's Super Sunday Swap Meet at Indiana State Fairgrounds. March 30th, last Saturday of the month, Cars and Coffee at Gateway Classic Cars. March 31st, 57th Detroit Area Auto Modeler Show, Macomb Community College Sports and Expo Center. And the 31st, again, 38th annual Michigan Buggy Builders Lansing Center. Holla. So, if you guys are interested in any of those, like I said, Cruise News, check them out on Facebook. Check them out on their website, cruisenews.com. Let me get a what up, Rusty. What up? What up? That's um, Mr. Rusty Wilson. He is with our composite department. I hope somebody grabs that phone real quick. Hey, Stitch. Hey, they love you. <laughs> okay, so we are just walking in through the shop here, walking up on our paint booth. It looks like Tim is still on uh, working on assembling the 1979 Camaro. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Hello, Stitch. We miss you. Oh, I see we have a viewer, Anton. Anton from Ford's Garage. Real quick, shout out to... Ford's Garage in Dearborn. They are having a garage party next Tuesday. And it is going to be a fantastic event. It is from 5 to 7. If you are interested in going, it is Bell's Oberon Garage Party, Michigan's unofficial start of the summer release at Ford's Garage next Tuesday. The what is next Tuesday? The 27th? No, the 26th. So definitely check that out. Shout out one more time to Ford's Garage. What up, Timmy Tim Tim? What's up? How's it going? Going good. Yeah, car's looking fantastic. You're looking great. Yeah, we get a smile out of it. Hey, hey. Yeah. No, I'm just, you know I got to show love. You know we love you. Yep. So what's, uh, what part are you on now? What part of assembly are you working on um, on the Camaro? Um, installing the door locks rods and a door handle back on this fiberglass door. Oh, these are fiberglass? Yep. Putting a stock handle back in so you can get in and out of the car. Mm -hmm. And a door lock mechanism, putting that back in here. Just something light and quick. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. This is such a nice paint job to think he's going to take it out and race it. Yeah, it's a race car. Yeah, it's a race car. That's right. Yep. Well, it's going to look good on the track, that's for sure. Shout out to our customer, John Lambert. Track or street, whatever he's going to do. With track it. or street, John Lambert, we want to know. Are you taking this to the track or are you taking this to the street? Probably both. <laughs> Probably both. I see you've got your lightsaber there. Yep, I need my light. Gotta Mew. See. Can we get a mute, mute? No. Dang it. All right, we'll try again next week. Or later. <laughs> Late or later? later. Oh, man. All right, Facebook followers, you heard it here first. We're gonna, we might have to tune back in later to get Vader's lightsaber display. <laughs> All right, Tim. Well, thank you, sir. Again, you guys, that is Mr. Tim Hanto, one of our paint and body, metal, kind of a little bit of everything um, technicians here at Motor City Solutions on the 79 Camaro. Thanks, Tim. Who's over here? Sorry, Stitch. What's up, Tim? Todd. Yeah, Todd. Todd, I said Todd. You said Todd. That's a really nice hat you got going there. Thank you. Shout out to everybody in at Sickens. They left me a hat. Dave, I'm so sorry I didn't wear it. Hold on, can I put that on for one second? No, I'm just playing. So, what do you got going on? Can we uh, can we follow you in this part of the booth, or do we have to stay out? No, you're good. All right. 
You guys, this is Tad Wilson, a.k.a. MacGyver, a.k.a. The Guy With The Gun, a.k.a. Mr. Wilson. Sorry, I like saying that. What you got going on, sir? Not much. Just finishing up the spray outs. Uh-huh. Uh, just trying to get some spray outs done for uh, Corvette we did out here. Did some spray outs on our 57, which I actually sprayed yesterday. Once oh! I got the was happy with. Can we see? Yep, yep. I like it. Show me, show me. Oh, it's hot in here. Give me just a minute. Let me turn it down. Yeah. Tim Hanto says, hey, Mr. Wilson. Hi, Michelle. I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to chat with you either. Jim Parsons. Hmm. Sorry about that. We have a comment that says hacks. Huh? Is that a hater? Do I smell a hater? I don't, we don't pay attention to none of that. Okay, moving, moving right along. Yeah, this is Paul Maury's 57 Chevy. It's on our trifold flyer. Oh! Yeah, our the, that beautiful blue? Yep, yep. That's this? Yep, this is that car. Are, now, are all the uh, vehicles on the trifold, are those all vehicles that were done here? Yes, every one of them. Nice, wow, they look A lot beautiful. Of that photo shoot was done here too for all those cars. No kidding. Yeah, they turned out fantastic. All right, so I like it. So, Paul and Lori are very good customers of Motor City Solutions. I know we've done quite a bit of mechanical work on this one, but this time it's back for paint. Yeah, just had to do a few repairs on it. I had a couple of chips where the trunk was scratching in the back tail panel, and uh, did some repairs on those, repainted that. Um, had a couple of small issues down low that we spotted in that too. Um, so it's all good now. Just got a West Hand polish it, new final assembly on it. Go back to them. Beautiful. So how many, so you had to do spray outs on this one, right? Yeah, actually I did, when I just sprayed it, I did two more because they want to send that spray out because they want a boot that's going to cover the convertible top to match the car. Oh. So I'm going to send that spray out so they can get that color as close as they can to that boot. Oh, really? The so car. the convertible is going to be the same not, color not of the, the car? the top, just when the top's down, it's got a boot that goes over it. Oh, the boot, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. Nice. So, I like it, I like it, I like it. Speaking of spray outs, this car here, do you have a spray out that'll match my nails? I, I really I like sure this color. Do. What, really? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. This is all my spray outs I did for that car in the last couple days. Wow. So, until we found the one we like. We got our lights on here? Let's see. That's without the light. And that's with the light. Quite a few variations of it. Yeah, there really is. Now, was it the the reason that you have so many? Was it kind of more well, difficult to find the color on this one for some no, reason? If, if you look at certain ones, they you know the metallic in them is a lot coarser than others. So I played with the metallic, switching out the metallic in them, so I got the metallic I liked, and that changes color every time you do that. Mm -hmm. um, so just playing with it, just trying to get used to the new system we have and and trying to make the colors that much better for us. I like it. We got a big color deck over here that we can, a customer comes in and they're undecided what color they want to go with. We can basically pull out any color deck we want. What? And let them go through them and say. Those are all, all the slides are different colors? Yep, all different variations of reds, oranges, whatever you want. Now are, are these all OEM colors? Some of them are considered OEM colors. What it is when I punch in the code for your uh, OEM code, uh -huh. it'll give me a number on the back here that refers to that color chip. Wow. So say that, you know, if that was whatever color I was looking for, it'd give me that code. That's what I'd pull up. Nice. And then I'd be able to mix that formula and go for, go for it at that point. So you do really have a color chip that'll match my nail? Pretty close. All right, let's see. Let's put them to the test, ladies and gentlemen. We got Todd Wilson on the... On, under the light here, on the camera. What's that? Get the hell! You did not just pick. <laughs> what? That's crazy. Yeah, pretty close. So if I need a touch up, uh... yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. You would not. I've asked these guys a million times. Hey, can you help me with some nails? No, they never have. Not yet. But that's okay. We still love them. They gotta paint their cars. Something else. Another nice tool that we have is, let's say you got a, a shoebox Nova. This is actually Dave can dig it's own paint line through Sickens. Okay, so can Dave can dig it is with um what's that what's Bitch that show? Rides. Bitch and Rides, okay. So that's right up our alley. So these are a lot of colors that he made up himself. And 
And these colors here, we can actually call the store and, and get these mixed at the store. I can't mix these ones here. Because they're a specialty color? Specialty colors, yep. So they don't let they don't let out the paint codes on those? Right, right. They don't want the formulas getting out there. Eventually, we'll have to yep, start yep. making our own specialty colors, and they'll say, we want that Motor City yep. blue, baby. <laughs> so, as I was saying, let's say you got a 67 Nova. What I can do here is they give us a clear film. It's clear, and it looks like 67 Nova. Shoe box. Oh, wow, that's cool. So now I can overlay it on top of that. And oh, no you, kidding. Okay, yeah, I like that color. That's what I want on my car. Yeah, I like that. Let's so, see it with another. Can we see it with another color? So you want this? Viewers, comment below. What color do you want to see the Nova? So now we can go pearl orange on it. Wow, that is so cool. What if we had a stencil for every classic? Yep. Can we that's, see it in a blue or a red? That is just too cool. Do you have any other cars? On. Yep, we got a few others. Um, they're working on more films for us to use. So you got a wagon. That's that wagon looks, looks like it was meant to be white. That's what it looks like with a white. Say, <laughs> it was nice candy red or something. Oh, wow, dude. That is so cool. What do you guys think? Comment below. You guys are quiet out there. Switch over to blue. I love this. This is a fantastic tool. The customers are going to love it. Yep. Now, could we use one of these paint chips yes. out over here? Yeah, I can grab any one of these chips out of here and do the exact same thing. Um, do the nails, do the nail color. Nail color, did we already? Yeah, let me see what that pretty blue will look like on... An old Ford. An old Ford. That's the only problem, it's not big enough to do the whole car, so... Well, that's okay, we'll just yeah. cover it up and say, hey. That is so cool, I love that. That is a very cool feature. Let's see it with nothing. You want your car all bare metal? There you go. You want your car bare metal? We can do that too. Or do you want your car, can I touch this? Yes. Yeah. Or would you like your car the same color as the 57 Chevy? Oh, wait. There we go. Hey. I'm sorry, I had to do it once. It looked too fun no. not to play with it. <laughs> no, it's definitely a, a very cool tool to have. And like I said, hopefully it'll get us a lot more uh, color shapes and everything of different rides that we can do. Do you have a dragon green? Just that antifreeze green looking. Let's see, our Karen, our uh, DJ Betty, AKA, yep. she made this shirt, Rebel Art. She wants to see dragon green. Yep, I'm sure we can come up with some different greens out of these. So there's quite a few. That is so cool. Wow, that's We've really amazing. Quite a color swatch to go through here of different greens and yeah you do that is you so cool i love that fantastic so, i love it that's going to come real handy with our classics that we do here so yeah well i know how hard it is to match some of these old colors a lot of people that are undecided on what color they want to go with so here we can just give them decks and let them pick, pick you a poison yeah. i like it so. all right cool well this looks pretty neat up in here yep i'm liking that mask very nice and, uh, Wrap where you work. Gotta love it. I can actually move around in here a lot better now. Yeah, it's really nice. All right, well, I guess I'll leave you to the spray outs. All right, thank is, you. Is this the core? Thank you. Have a good day. We should say thank you. Is this the Corvette that you're doing spray outs on? Yeah, no. Newer, uh, I think it's 93, if I remember correctly. Newer? You're like newer, 93. All right, do you think it'll be painted next week? Uh, yeah. My next Friday, definitely. Okay, you guys, so tune in next Friday if you guys are wanting to see the Corvette 93 fully painted with that beautiful bur... Is that a burgundy or a red? Burgundy. I love it. That's my that's my type of color. Karen says she wants to paint her car now, thanks to you. There we go. <laughs> Bring it over, we'll help you out. Yeah, here you are. Thank you, Todd. Right, thank you. You guys, that is Mr. Todd Wilson. We are at Motor City Solutions, High Rods and Restorations. And let's go see what's up in this booth. Can I come in? He's like, oh, I, I, you can't stop mixing that, can you? It's okay, no, it's okay, I got it. I think I got it. I can't do it. <laughs> Such a jerk. I, he couldn't stop mixing those stuff he's mixing or it'll dry. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm, I'm, no, I'm sorry. I'm like, can I come in? And you're like mixing and you're like, I can't stop mixing this. And I'm like, I can't get in. Okay, sorry. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Ryan Leach and Mr. Mark Van Ash. What up, Marky Mark? What up, Facebook Live? What up? What are you guys doing over here? Lounging around. Lounging around? We're working on our projects tonight and building up this scene here. Oh. we join this card and put it in quarter on this card. Nice. So. Dang, we came at the right time. Make it look nice. That smells strong. Does it? I, I what? Smell it. You can't smell that? It's very strong, Ryan. <laughs> no kidding, so let's see if we can, yeah, let's, can we watch you for a minute here? This is kind of cool. Sure. So what is that that you're putting on it? This is a body filler. Bondo, kind of what they call it, body filler. Well, I've seen, I know the guy, I've seen the guys work with, um, I think, Duraglass? Yeah, the Duraglass is underneath this. That's what you use to make the build up when you got a big area. You use Duraglass because it's, like, tougher. And then when you get to the finished part of it, you use this Bondo. It's thinner and it fills in the pinholes better. And, um, it just sands easier. Duraglass is really tough, so you use that. Especially if you're trying to like build up an edge or something, you want to get dirty last so long. Uh, you know, when the car when the car is done and someone slams the door or hits a bump or something, it'll like crack off. Right. Oh, so it's a little bit stronger. Yeah, you're saying? Stronger. I got you. This stuff you just want you just want your bondo in a nice like thin layer. This is the 1967 Pontiac Tempest turned GTO pretty much, right Ryan? Yep. Ryan Leach is doing some body work on it, putting some Bondo on. And I don't think this one's actually going into the paint booth fully. The customer, shout out to Greg, is going to be doing the rest of the restoration with his dad. His dad had a Pontiac. 67 Pontiac when he was younger. Voila! Like that. It's beautiful, man. So how long will that take to dry? Uh, 10 minutes. So depends how much harder you put in and what temperature is in here. But you gotta move fast when that gets on, huh? Yeah, you're definitely on the, on the clock. It won't. It won't get like hard, hard while you're working it, but they start it won't spread real smooth. It'll how's start kicking. how's that stuff on there now? Is that still movable? Yeah, a little bit. It's starting to kick a little bit out here. I see. Well, I'm sorry. I was not. Sure. I was the damn near knocking on the door like, hey, and you're like, sure. I saw you. You're like, I can't, but I gotta, but I can't. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. Yep. You guys, that was Mr. Ryan Leach doing body work on the '67 Pontiac. And this <laughs> is Mark Van Ash. Hi. What up, Van Ash Day? Hi, hi, hi. I can't. I was gonna go back here, but okay, there we go. Yeah, watch some hoses. Watch them hose. Watch them hoses. Hoses or watch them hose. Sorry. Okay. Hoses. Ah, uh, sorry. Okay, head to. What do you what, what do you got going on here I today? I am working on a '57 Chevy truck that Josh just passed over to me. Oh, okay. The one that came in just as a cab. Yeah, that's correct. So now the tr the be bed truck bed off. is off again? Right. Yep, now we're going to do the body surfacing and prep it up for some prime. So it's where I'm at. I'm working over here with my buddy Ryan. As you can see, he's hogging the whole booth here. <laughs> Ryan, you're hogging the booth. I'm Mark here. Yeah. <laughs> so, right That's funny. Here. Is it a concert? What are you? What concert's playing today? Uh, I had five finger death punch on earlier, but uh, Mark loves to sing, ladies and gentlemen. We never catch him on so the live Ryan's feed. So Ryan's over here was requesting some songs, and what by doing so he thinks that so he'll put something on that he thinks I either don't like or that I don't know, but I'll do it, and if I know it, I sing it, and I think he'll get annoyed before I do. So, so is it true? Did I, I heard something about a Kelly Clarkson? Yeah, there was Kelly Clarkson. I was trying to put on some Lady Gaga or some Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> we, couldn't, we couldn't do the Lady Gaga. Can we hear? Can we hear some sample? No, 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 no. This is paper. Well, who sings that it's one? Making my way downtown. Sing it. No, no, no. This is that's all. Sing us something. 
that's how my the, the viewers are going crazy. You should yeah, see the cat. The comments are flying yeah, all over yeah, the screen. Yeah, yeah. I'm not kidding. They they're yeah, all saying yeah. Marky, Marky, <laughs> Marky. Come see my show then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. We'll I'll come back you next. A favor, probably, so. I don't know. I don't know. Kara, shout out to Karen Gleason. She's gonna get all of us doing Motor City karaoke. Coming up here. Ryan's eyes lift up. He's like, hey, karaoke. He's a, he's a karaoke, he's karaoke star. All right, well, we're coming to get you next week. You better have a song for us. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Well, see you guys. See Bye. you, see ya. Bye, Ryan. Okay, you guys. So, we got to mess with the guys a little bit. In here, Steve Mitchell is working on the VW Bug, but he's not in house right now. So,. We'll keep keep it moving right along here with Mr. Josh Hoy. This is the 57 Chevy pickup that Mark Van Ash was just telling us about. He is um, standing on, looks like the tailgate in there. Josh, I thought you put this thing together. What happened? People started robbing parts off it for their own project. People started robbing parts for their own project. Ricky needed a new bed. Ricky needed a new truck bed. That actually sounds believable. <laughs> Okay, so are you still working on this one or are you waiting nope. for it to come back to you? Uh, well, I'm waiting for it to leave. Uh, supposedly, here in the near future, they're going to start taking, uh, well, that's why it's missing the bed. They start doing all the uh, body work on it. Ah. So I forget what car they're working on. Either as soon as the 57 Chevy's done or that Tempest is out of there, um, they're going to put this in one of those holes and start nice. putting all the sanding and whatnot on it to get this project going along. And then it's going to be full paint? I believe so, yeah. I like it. Well, I just asked because the Tempest isn't going to be, isn't going to get painted here. The the father-son team that own it are going to do the paint there. So I didn't know okay. if yeah, Greg know. was going to be painting this Normally one or if we when are. I get a project, I am way before the paint and everything. So <laughs> I, I don't know what's getting painted or what's not getting painted. So after, after it leaves me, I don't know what the process is going on after that. Okay, well, we're not mad at you for that. So what, what's going on with this? Can you tell us a little bit about this situation yep, so this over is here? Heinrich's motor. Hey, um, shout out to Heinrich. He's watching. He's in Mexico right now. Lucky. Hi, Steve. It's cold here. It's not that cold. It's 40s. It's 42, but it feels kind of chilly. It's not that sunny. How is it in Mexico? Steve, let us know. Nice, Josh. So this is Heinrich's motor. Um, For the 69 Mustang. Yep. So we put the intake on it, put the distributor on it. Uh, we bought a set of headers for it, hoping that they would fit. Uh, and if they didn't fit, it would just be slight modifications. And we actually got pretty lucky. Um, we only had to do a couple slight modifications to each of the headers. And it actually sit down pretty good. Where did you have to do modifications? So on the passenger side, this dude here was actually rocked out about five eighths of an inch and it was rubbing on the frame rail right about here. Mm -hmm. So we were able to cut the tube right about here. And this is all slip fit, so I was able to just take the whole runner right out, take about five eighths of an inch off, and slide it right back in place and tack it all back together. Nice. Steve commented below, he said warmer here, it's in the 70s in Mexico. I'm jealous. <laughs> we're jealous, Steve. Man, this is awesome. So what's the next step? Well, on this side, I had to basically redo this entire tube. On uh, this, this section from basically the collector up to about here. Reason being is the original tube was about like this. Mm -hmm. And it was interfering with the steering jet. Okay. So I cut it back here, cut it right here, and I raised this tube up about four inches right here to build clearance for the steering jet. Nice. Yep. Steve says he loves those headers. Very nice. Custom work by Josh. No surprise. You're always custom customizing something around here. Yeah, always tearing into something. Yep, you are. Is Johnson over there working on the Mustang? Yeah, he's, uh, I think he's putting the uh, seat mounts for it. All right, well, I guess let's go check it out. Nope. This looks fantastic. Steve, very happy with the headers. Josh Hoy, our fabricator here at Motor City Solutions. Thank you so much, sir. What's up there, Ricky? What you, you doing? Trying to, trying to mess with me? I know you. No, not me. Don't. I can't even walk away right now. I'm like ready. He's like gonna pour some oil on me or something. 
I'm walking backwards. I'm out of here. <laughs> Bye, Josh. Thank you, sir. Yeah, they're over there platting on me. Okay, so. Motor looks great. Steve, I know you're very happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't trust them. I'm going this way. We are at Motor City Solutions, Hot Rods and Restorations, if you guys are just tuning in. Let's go see what Johnson's got going on over here. Sneak up. I didn't mean to, sorry. Sorry, that's what happens to old people. Don't say that. Other people sneak up on them. Stop. You're not old. Nice. So, what up? Uh, Josh good. was just showing us the motor for this one. Oh yeah, yep, cool. Got the headers on. Yep. Fit yep. his custom pipes. That's some serious horsepower. Serious yep. horsepower. Yep. I think it, did what kind of it, horsepower does that kick? You didn't tell you, you didn't tell you what a dyno did? It was I think six hundred horse at six thousand RPMs. What? On pump gas, on ninety three octane. So that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good yeah, that's pretty I'd good. say. Most motors to be because that's a small block motor. So it's still, you know, a small, lightweight motor where um, it's a 434 cubic inch where normally you'd have to run a big block to get those kind of, you know, horsepower numbers. That one, uh, that one does it, you know, still in a small block platform. So how does it, how, do, how does that work out like that and still keeping it in a small block? Well, I mean, it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's kind of complicated. I mean, basically the, the stroke of the crank and, um, the bore size and stuff like that all plays into it. And that is basically modeled off a 351 Ford motor, which is like, uh, you know, one of their basic small block Ford motors or whatever, but it's an aftermarket block. So they make it thicker metal and uh, the crank is a, a bigger stroke and stuff like that. So they basically just took a Ford design and just made it all better, just beefed it all up. So okay. Anyway, yeah, and, and uh, you know, 20 years ago, you really didn't have all these aftermarket parts like you have now, so you can build literally anything. You could build a 450 cubic inch small block motor, you know, and uh, that's, that was unheard of 20 years ago. People would have been like, nah, you're lying, you know, mm -hmm. that's, that's impossible. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so th now everything's like off the shelf, you know, you can just order it and build your own monster small block, you know. Your own monster sm uh, that, small that, block. That's a monster small block. That's a uh, 600 horse that you nothing to sneeze at, you know. That's, uh, and I mean that you could always add a uh, nitrous to that motor or uh, oh okay yeah. says the nitrous yeah, yeah, guy yeah, yeah, okay this know. guy's like obsessed yeah. with nitrous or turbo or supercharger you know easily you could push that motor to a thousand horse and uh, it live you know. Steve Steve the owner's watching by the way he says howdy Jeff what's happening he's in Mexico right now nice it's nice. The I bet 70s you, I bet you it's warmer over there yeah that's over here, exactly uh, what he uh, said yep yep hey we're still wearing jackets over here man so. So enjoy it for us and yep. get us a, a get Jeff a sombrero to wear on yeah. the next live feed for when you come back. Yeah, yeah, yep. <laughs> yeah. So we're just getting everything grinded down where we've been doing welding for weeks. You know, just uh, with everything we've modified the tunnel, the floor pans, the we've had to put seat braces in it because of the seats are in different locations now, and um, just uh, the, with the firewall and stuff like that. So basically, we've been putting the motor in and out for the last probably three days. We probably had the motor in and out a good, realistically, 15 times, you know, just fitting headers and fitting motors and, and uh, Fitting headers and, and fitting motors. Yeah, it's just, uh, it, we've almost lost track of how many times we've had the motor and trans in and out of this thing. So we're almost like a NASCAR pit stop status, you know, where we just throw it in and out, you know. And yeah. We're just, you know, while sleeping. You know, <laughs> while sleeping. Yeah. So. But don't worry, Steve, that's not really... Yeah, that's really not what's happening. That's really yeah, not what's yeah, happening. Yeah. But close, but close. Yeah. Jeff's dreaming, but, Jeff's dreaming. Yeah, l luckily, uh, like I said, it's just mocking stuff up, so it's not the final fit. But we're getting close to where we're going to have the floor all wrapped up to where uh, it can get painted up and um, get stuff put in it for the last time. You know, so. so can you tell us a little bit what have you guys done all on this car so far? Well, it'd probably be easier to say what we haven't done. So you always say you know, that. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, it's it's literally so much. I mean, uh, <laughs> just everything on the car. You know, luckily the, he had some good parts on the car, like with the front cross member and, and the suspension and the, the rear setup was all Detroit Speed. So that's all you know, you know, really nice stuff. You know, top dollar, nice stuff. You know, it works really well. So luckily he had some nice parts, and of course it's a 
um, he had the roll cage done at Watson's years ago, I think it was, and they did a nice job on the roll cage, you know, so uh, it, it had some nice bones, man. It just needed to be um, just touched up in a few spots, you know, and a few things reworked. Uh, the project's been going so long that maybe some of the things he's changed his mind on. First, he was going to run a, a newer mod motor in it, and um, we kind of switched gears on that and decided to go with a more of an old school motor. I think uh, the car is going to drive better and he's going to get more out of the car, you know, versus going the other way. And you know, I think it's going to be more, a little more reliable too. So, uh, so we've changed some stuff and, um, you know, I mean, it's just all the welds all been redone, you know, reconfigured the seats because uh, Steve's, you know, quite a bit taller than normal, you know, so we all, everything in the seat has all been moved back, you know, good probably 12, you know, 12 inches or whatever, you know, just so he can get more comfortable in it. And um, just uh, everything. Trans tunnel? You know, trans tunnel, yeah, trans tunnel, firewall. Um, you know, like I said, they, uh, they kind of- Wanted to put AC in. Yeah, the, the, he wants to run an AC system. So the people who were working on his car before actually had made half of the firewall kind of custom. And uh, it really just was not a good idea to do that considering you want to run, uh, an AC system, you know, so you basically cut the whole firewall out of this thing, which is a uh, kind of a big job to do, you know, especially, you know, considering the car was already done, you know, but uh, we ripped the dash out of it, the column and all that stuff, so that whole firewall is all new, and then it, we retain original um, firewall so that we, we can use a vintage air AC system and it, you know, jive with that firewall versus the the custom firewall they had in it, you know. Mm -hmm. So it, it had some issues the way they did it. It really wasn't exactly right. So uh, we got rid of that and then the uh, trans tunnel, we didn't like what they did with the trans tunnel. It just was way too big. It uh, it was so it was so big in the, the cockpit that you didn't even have room for the gas pedal, you know, and I don't know if anybody ever thought about that, but you know, <laughs> you, you gotta think about, hey, you know, where's my gas pedal gonna fit, you know? Yeah. So they had, they had a, bare minimum room in there for the gas pedal which in turn would have scooted over into your clutch and brake pedal and just this, this a, a lot of things just weren't thought out you know the the thing when you build these cars you've got to be careful you almost have to build them you know 10 times in your head just to see where everything's going to fit because one you put something one place and then it affects two or three other things you know right so it's not as easy as people i think think you know and you end up taking them apart, putting them together so many times that you just lose track of taking them apart, putting them together. <laughs> right. That, yeah, that's what you got to do. So, but yeah, it's been fun. Uh, we're getting, uh, we're getting, we're getting down to the nitty gritty here where we can start making stuff look pretty as far as painting it and everything. Mm -hmm. And then uh, get the mechanicals in it for the last time, and then uh, we're gonna do some body work and repaint the car again. Oh, we are gonna repaint yeah, the we're car. Gonna, we're gonna straighten the car out. Uh, he wants it to be nice, and uh, he wasn't happy with. Uh, the body work that was done on it, you know, and the paint was lacking here and there, you know, so we're going to straighten it out, take all the waves out of the car, and nice. uh, throw a really nice paint job on it. You know how we do things here, you know, so yeah. it, it'd be like new. We have know. a comment below, um, one from a Jeremy West, Paging Dr. Detroit, okay, oh, nice, nice. and so Jeremy West says what up, and then he says again, Jeff's pretty much building a whole new car, yep, <laughs> that's yep. how we do. Actually, Motor City's building a whole new car. Amen, amen, and Jose from France says bonjour. Oh, nice, nice. Can we get a bonjour from you? Bonjour. Ah, is that, is that yeah, yep. yeah, that's correct, yep. very good. <laughs> yeah, so me and Josh has been working on it basically right now. Uh, we're going to get all the metal and stuff squared away, and then at one point we're going to have to bring in uh, Ricky and uh, Scott to, you know, uh, finish up the mechanicals, and then uh, from there it's going to go down to the, the bodywork team, and Marky Mark will uh, get on it, and Todd, and probably Tim, and they'll uh, straighten the body out. And I've already done the gaps on the car where the doors and stuff are all gapped really nice and everything. So we've actually done quite a bit since the car's been here. I mean, I really think uh, we probably uh, have done, you know, more in the last six months in this car than it was probably done in the last couple of years, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm feeling good about it. Yeah, and, uh, I can tell you like yeah. this project. I like this car because it, it's going to move, you know. This car is, I like anything fast. I don't care what it is. If it's fast, I, I like it. So uh, I think this car is going to be pretty fast and uh, it's going to be a cool car, you know. So, so Steve, are you going to let us uh, film Jeff doing a burnout on it? Yeah, Comment yeah, below. Yeah. Let us know. 
Yeah, yeah the, the viewers are, are doing smiley faces and thumbs up can, all uh, over. We can film him doing a burnout in it. I'm hoping actually, because I think he said he was going to go to uh, Mid Ohio, the racetrack, and for road course. So I'm hoping he can uh, take uh, some GoPros and stuff and then, uh, you know, give us some footage to put on our website and uh, to see what it, you know. What he said maybe, the, LOL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, <laughs> maybe the, how, the, how the track they went, you know. So. Yeah, that would be cool that, to go out there and cool. do a live feed. Yeah, yeah. Steve, take me to the track. That would be cool. Yes, it would be, be cool. A cool, a cool life Jeff wants to sure. go too. <laughs> yep, I'll go. Yep, I'll go. I'll play pit crew. I'll go. Okay, cool. Right, well, yeah. I would love it. I can't wait to see. Now I'm excited to see this uh, thing run. I want to yeah. go to the track. He says he's got a GoPro already, 4K. Nice. 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 Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, I guess we'll check in next week with you. Yep, back to grinding. Back to grinding. Yeah. I see that you're thoroughly enjoying this one, so yeah. we'll uh, leave you to it. Yeah, my safety gear, you know, safety first. Safety uh, first, that's so right. kids out there. Dr. Johnson. Uh, safety first. You know? Dr. Johnson puts his doctor mask on. Oh, yeah. Our, our uh, apparel vendor I saw the other day, they have lab white lab coats. Oh, nice. Yeah, we put one on order for you. The, the bad thing is, is it's not going to stay white long if I'm wearing it. Oh, that's okay. A yeah, dirty it's white lab coat. coat, it kind of goes with it, you know? Uh, we get a dark blue or black, it looks tidy better. Okay, maybe we'll get a black lab coat. Right. That's not good. <laughs> Thanks, John. Yep, enjoy. All right, you guys, so that was Jeff Johnson on the 69 Mustang. It is a beautiful color. Steve, I'm thoroughly looking forward to getting that car on the road. I can't wait to see what it can do. What up, Rick? What's up, woman? What's up? Don't woman me. Don't you woman me. Uh, so this is, if you guys were watch, got a chance to check out the very beginning of the live feed, this is the GTO that we are going to be doing the full restoration on. We got that approved this past week. We got the paperwork all signed on the mechanical estimate and the paint and body estimate, right? Oh yeah. So, it looks like Ricky has started to cut into it. Let's take a real good look around the car. Looks like they have taken off the front bumper and the carb so far. But other than that, I think it's pretty um, unmolested. Yeah, uh, first thing we do is before we start a restoration is we uh, take pictures of the whole car, mm -hmm. how all the trim fits, how all the gaps are on the car, how the bumpers fit, everything. Then we uh, put a battery in it, we check, test all the electronics, see what works, headlights, tail lights, wipe the motor, headlight switch. Did everything work radio. on this one? Uh, most of it does not work. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I thought you were going to say does. I'm like, yeah, oh, but cool. That's good. So we know what we need to replace. Right. We're going to end up putting a new harness in it anyway, but it's still nice to know what components work and which ones don't. Absolutely. So what else for really nice the start of a restoration? Well, after we got all our pictures and we have uh, tested all our electronics, is we start taking the car apart and we bag and tag everything and we take it apart, what nuts and bolts go where. Oh, wow. Down like to the that. nuts and bolts. Yep. And then... Uh, we also make a list of what's bad on the car. Mm -hmm. So as we're pulling parts off, we see a seal's bad, or uh, a hinge is bad, or a door pin, we write it down on the list so that way, when uh, we go to put the car back together, we know what parts we have to order for it. Right. So do you order, so, so in a full restoration, it's kind of probably a little bit easier, per se, to do the project because you're not kind of tearing into it and ordering as you go. You tear you tear it apart and then make your list order and then start building it? Correct. Nice. You always do miss a few parts here and there that you didn't know about, but mm -hmm. it pretty much gets you 90% of the list so that way you can get a good jump start on the project, get it done a lot quicker. Nice. Man, it's going to be a nice car when it's done. It's going to be a really beautiful car when it's done. We are going to document the entire process. We didn't find any money behind the back seat. We didn't find... We were looking for it. No what, money. what do you mean? No money under the back seat. Is that a thing? Well, I mean, usually people sit in the back seat and change falls out of their pockets. You would know, wouldn't you, junkyard? Oh, yeah. Yep. Didn't, <laughs> didn't find anything. Ricky goes to the junkyards all the time and finds old parts for the cars and truck parts. If you ever need any truck parts, yeah. By the way, holler at your boy. Yeah. Mr. Coppenda. I sell some stuff every once in a while. He sells some truck parts, whatever you need. You have like every truck part that anybody can imagine. Only four trucks. Only four trucks. Okay, yeah. okay. But Motor City is not partial to, or doesn't discriminate, how about we say that, to just Ford, as you can see. Now everybody here is a Chevy guy. 
Everybody, well, I'm, well, I mean, that's not everybody. Hey, I still count. Okay. I didn't say. Okay, okay. Ford girl. <laughs> Ford, you're, you're like, Ford girl, you still count. Okay, cool. Well, thank you. You count too, Rick. And so does the GTO. It's going to be an awesome restoration. Oh, yeah. Next week, it'll be uh, in a million pieces next time you see it. Oh, yeah? It'll be all ripped apart. Are you sure about that? Oh, yeah. Okay, well, we're going to quote you on that. And then we're going to say, thank you so much for watching the live feed, you guys. Um, we are going to call it. Tune in next week. Wow, the lighting is weird over here. There we go. Tune in next week if you want to see the GTO in a million pieces. Um, thank you so much for tuning in with us. We hope you have a good weekend. Say bye. 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 Thanks for tuning in, guys. Don't forget, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Insta and Facebook. And you ain't going nowhere. Nah, 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 nah. We'll get you next week too, Rick. All right. <laughs> Bye, guys. Take care.